Assassin's Creed 2 is a bloody romp through Renaissance Italy that significantly expands and improves upon the core mechanics of the first game. The story picks up directly after the first one, with Desmond, the main character in modern times, escaping from Abstergo. Desmond teams up with the assassins and hops back into the Animus, this time by choice. The goal is to train himself as a deadly assassin by experiencing the life of his ancestor, Ezio Auditore de Firenze. Insieme per la vittoria! We jump back to Renaissance Italy and the fun begins. Afraid to handle things yourself? Your sister seemed quite satisfied with the handling I gave her earlier. <laughs> I'll kill you for what you've done! Guards, arrest him! Right off the bat, the game sets up an intriguing tale of revenge in both the past and the present. There's solid story development, and while the control option can be almost overwhelming at times, there's a lengthy in-game tutorial that holds players' hands as they learn to free run, pick pockets, do combat, hide, and of course assassinate their targets. Assassin's Creed 2 is a visual delight. The animations are still top-notch, and the dramatic music rounds out a high-caliber presentation. The Renaissance setting also adds a dose of much-needed color and humor to the series. Do I know you from somewhere? Don't you recognize me? It's a me, Mario! When I was You'll want to play with the subtitles on just to catch all of the comical Italian banter between the characters. Excellent free-running system from the first game has returned, and is noticeably faster, making exploration more enjoyable. It also helps that Florence, Venice, and other Italian cities are the perfect setting for Ezio's acrobatic antics. Combat is also brutal and gory. There are a bunch of weapons to purchase, and you'll likely buy all of them just to watch the unique animations they trigger during a fight. The most important improvement to Assassin's Creed 2 is the streamlined mission structure that always points players towards the meat of the game. The mission that progresses the storyline is always marked with a big exclamation point on the minimap, and this time around the missions are much more varied and definitely more exciting. There's no sitting on benches required. The addition of a monetary system means that there's a good reason to go treasure hunting, and it adds a host of shops to the city, including one for armor and weapons. It's just another layer that makes the Italian cities more vibrant and believable than the first game. The stealth has also improved, and now players can blend with any large crowd of people, as well as hire thieves, mercenaries, and whores to distract specific targets. And now that players can disarm opponents and purchase a wide range of weapons, the combat is deep and enjoyable. The counter and kill animations alone make confrontation a thrilling option. Assassin's Creed 2 is a meaty game, clocking in at 18 hours for a normal playthrough, and there are hours of side missions and diversions. There are tombs to be found that include some excellent Prince of Persia platforming and an entire villa that players can upgrade by purchasing art and architectural improvement. If you release me, we'll spare your lives. Ha! Listen to the... Ah! If you weren't thrilled with the first Assassin's Creed, it's likely that your problems have been addressed. The sequel does include a few flaws, one being that it isn't exactly difficult. Aside from flying off a ledge due to a less than perfect camera angle, players will hardly ever find themselves close to death. But Assassin's Creed 2 is a real sequel. It didn't just refine elements of the first game, it added a huge amount of new content and interesting gameplay mechanics. I gave the game a 9.2, and while Assassin's Creed isn't perfect, it has put the series on a path towards greatness. You can read the full review on IGN.com.